what is up everybody it's your boy Naso sound yes sir we are here today i'm actually using the headphones on this headset so it's just a it's just a take we'll see if the audio quality isn't as good we're not gonna worry about it but you already know what time it is we're here uh to talk about more street fighter 6 and this time it actually pertains to the situation uh, with the music, I've been seeing on Twitter a lot of people do not like the music, and I'm very curious. I haven't listened to every theme. I've actually only listened to four or five specifically, and that was Ryu, Luke, Jamie, Chun Li, and Guile. So the rest of the songs, I actually don't know what they sound like, and we're gonna review them here today. And as a musical artist myself, um, uh, who, you know, I, I, I might I do specialize in hip hop and an R&B, but I will not be biased on this, except Giles, because I love Giles' theme. Um, and I love like I love funk music, and I love jazz, and I'm assuming uh, a lot of these songs might have a little bit of integration in there. So with that, uh, you know, a little bit of fusion of genres, we're gonna go ahead and see what like, we can really like pinpoint if the music is good or bad. Now, I will not, for, the, for this specific video, I will not be comparing them to their classic themes, and I will do that for a completely separate video. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it, and uh, let's listen to some good-ass music, depending on if it's good or not, so let's get into it. We fighting fools are all getting to it on the streets! Alrighty, what is up everybody? It's your boy Nasu Sound here and we are about to review some of these songs. I guess I did listen to Kimberly and Jury since I can see them up here. I don't I don't remember listening to them though. But that's fine. Uh pretty much we're gonna go through and we're gonna check out every single one of these songs. We're gonna rate it from one to ten and see if we like it. And if it's good, if it's bad, well then, you know, boo-hoo. And if it's if it's not, then maybe people on Twitter are just wrong. So we're gonna start with Chun Li's. I already know Chun Li's is a banger, if I can remember properly. Chun Li should be a banger. So we're gonna go ahead and hit into this right now. I swear it's gotta be a banger. Listen to that. Let, listen to that, baby. That's a banger. That's a banger. There's no way. There's no way that's not a banger. I'm gonna be honest, I like China Vox better. But I'm definitely gonna give this like a, a solid nine. This, this, this jump right here. I think there's a part in here where it goes kind of like into a little bit of like a, like a South American kind of like I don't want to say Morocco or Marimba, but it's a little pattern that it has a I believe coming. Hey. 
Okay, here we go, here we go. It's coming up, it's coming up, it's coming up. Let me turn it down a little bit. All right, here you go, here you go. Hey. Hey. Oh! Hey! Definitely, definitely a solid nine, because I like this. I can literally listen to this theme all day. They did a nice, they did a really good job. Just the way they handled this entire song. Hey. 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 Amazing, amazing Street Fighter 6. All right, definitely like it. Uh, definitely gives off Chun Li. It makes it makes it seem more off like uh, I I don't I don't feel the elegance. It feels like Chun Li, but like kind of like hype beast Chun Li a little bit. But I still love it. Uh, definitely definitely nine out of ten. All right, let's go to Luke's. Luke's. I've been listening to this from the demo. I definitely give Luke's a solid like. A solid eight. I don't like Luke himself like that because like I was hoping Alex would have been the one to pioneer, but his theme is really good. Hey. Uh, 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 yo, what, yo, what, yo, what, yo, what, like, Definitely a song I would not mind listening to while I'm playing the game. Not, it's not one I would instantly choose, but it is above. It would, I, I'd assume right now, it would be above some others that I might choose. I don't know. So far, I do like it. This is the part I don't like in the song. I don't like this part of the song. I'm not really a fan of this part of the song. Now I like this right here. I hope it isn't like record my voice being a little bit behind because I'm actually singing on like with the song. But yeah, it's definitely good. I, I think I can, I can go without listening like the first two minutes. Besides this this short this short section right here, the first two minutes of the song I, I really like. I don't really care for the last minute of the song, but I'm just saying. All right, reuse theme. I've seen a lot of hate towards this theme. I don't know why, but. I think this is definitely uh, more of a stage theme than Ryu, but I like the fact that it is Ryu's theme because it's more of like him relaxing. And it's almost like we can see Ryu be a little cocky, if not like relax a bit. And this feels like, it feels very champion-esque. Like you just won something, like the end of like movie, like the end of a movie type of song. I like it. And it's got like a little, it's got a little bit of like Japanese, I wouldn't want to say ninja, but it's got like this kind of like Ronin vibe to it, you know? Like, hold on, here we go. 
It feels it feels oriental easily. It's not super telling like Chun Li's is. This part right here. Okay. And then it comes in with the with the. Hey, was that a sitar? I think that was a sitar. That was pretty dope. This, I really, I'm gonna be honest, you really listen to this theme and you're, some people will be like, I don't like it, but when you're playing as Ryu, it just flows with what, how he's, how his gameplay is. Shin, Shoryuken! I love DJ scratching so much. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot it was a background. Oh my god, this breakdown has it's like the best part of the song. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go, like uh Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, it's not. It's not here. It's. I think it's on the other part. I was thinking about something. That flute, baby. That flute. Oh my gosh! It just screams Japan. Ah. Oh. Man, this this song, this song, somebody put their ears in this song, their foot, they stuck their whole body in this song, they bathed in it. This song is amazing. Now, I don't like this part. It's like the only part of the song I don't like. Now, this, this part right here, that's the only part of it I don't like. Definitely giving this a 9.5 out of 10. I like it. Oh! Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Now, I think the only person's song I remember is Guile's. I don't remember every, anybody else's theme. And I haven't, I've, apparently I've already listened to Kimberly and Juries, but I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember it, so. We're gonna go to Jamie's. I think he's yeah, Mr. Top Player. So let's see how his, his is, cause I don't remember. Now for an original. Oh yeah. I think he's Chinese, I believe. I know Chun Li is. You know what this reminds me of? This sounds like some Kazuya, not Kazuya, sorry. Kiryu Kazuma level of like, this is really screaming Yakuza like throughout, I like it. Hey, 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 ooh! Is that the, is that the baritone saxophone? Or, that's a saxophone, isn't it? Ooh! I'm not gonna lie, I like this. I give it a nine. So far, I give it a nine. Oh, that was nice. Oh, we got a drum solo, or kind of. We got the horn, or trumpet in the back. Okay. Hey! It picks up right here. Yeah, this is definitely, this is giving like, if you get if you like Yakuza mixed with, um, mixed with Sleeping Dogs vibe. Like it's, it's hype. It's hype and it's screaming like, I do this, I like, it's me. So it's like a representation of your country, but it's like more focused on you and as a character, how special you are. 
So like, if Jamie had like a spin-off action game, definitely would play. Hey, that's funky, baby. I love it. Oh. This reminds me of a song, I believe it's called, uh, Make It Funky Now. I believe that's what it's called. Ooh. Hold on. Let it chill, let it chill, you know? Let it ride, baby. Ooh. Ooh. I know you hear that. Let me turn that up a little bit. Oh. Uh. Hey, yo. I know you hit that, that melody in the background really good. Back to a little breakdown. With the trumpet. Okay. And he's wearing yellow, it's my favorite color. So props on that. I think it feels like it ends abruptly. I would have wanted it to keep going on. Definitely still giving it a nine though. Oh man, that, that was actually pretty good. That was pretty good. For an original character, his, his theme is really good. All right, now I have a bias against Giles. I'm just gonna say automatic, automatic 10 out of 10. Automatic 10 out of 10. Reuse was a 10 out of 10, and Giles is an automatic 10 out of 10, because when I first heard his theme, I instantly fell in love with it. And I think it's fire. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 hey. I, I literally remember when they did his trailer, it was like, uh, it was like, bro, I, no, no, hey, okay, okay. Oh my gosh. They put crack in this theme, bro. This is amazing. Hold on. Bro, I literally, like, I want to, Sonic Boom! Like, I want to do it so bad. Oh my gosh, this theme is amazing. Oh. Uh. Oh man. I can't wait to play God too. Oh my gosh. With this theme too? Crazy. Like in the way they choreograph they choreographed his fight to the to like to the beat of the song. Like if you really pay attention. Oh my god. Like it that literally the way they packaged Guile in that trailer makes me want to play him. Okay. Ew. Hey. Oh my gosh, this this theme is Yes, sir. I remember that. Oh man, I love that theme. I love that theme. All right, I do not remember anybody else's going forward or have seen anybody else's going forward. So, 
We're going in blind. Here we go. Kimberly is next. Ninja Star Pop. Oh, yeah! Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. This is, I'm gonna be honest, this is feeling like, uh, this is feeling like Splatoon 2's off the hook type of theme. In my, in just my opinion. Yeah, this, this really feels like a Marina and Pearl type of song. And Splatoon 2 had some dope music, I'm not lying. I don't really like this part that much. I did like that that hi hat hit just in it that a second ago, or that snare hit. I can't remember. I don't know which one it was. I will give this, uh, if I gave Luke an eight and a half, I would definitely give it an eight. It's good, but it's not something I would willingly listen to out of the playlist. Like it's a good song and if it comes on, I'm not gonna skip it, but it's not the first song I go to or the second. Okay, hold on, hold on, what you doing? This is giving a little bit of Undertale right now. This is what it sounds like. It's reminiscent of Undertale. I'm not liking this part because now it's reminding me of KDA. And I wouldn't expect her to be like a KDA type of character. But I'm still staying. I'll give it an 8.3. I'll, I'll boost it up by 3. Oh! Hey! Hello? Uh. I like this part. Okay. Uh. Dang. I wish that part lasted a little bit longer. If that part was a little bit longer, instantly 8.5. Oh. No, it's not 8. It's similar, but it's not it. There's more beats in that rhythm pattern. Oh, wow. It's kind of hardcore. It's a little bit of EDM in there, too. That's what I assume it's called. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so I'll stick with my, I'll stick with my score, 8.3. Uh, I like it, but not the first or second song that I would go to uh, if I were listening to the soundtrack. All right. Now we're going to go on a Jury's theme. Let's see how she is. I remember hearing Jury's theme. Uh, I remember hearing it. I just don't know what it is. Uh, I went to Ken's by accident. We're supposed to be on Jury. Uh, Arachnid. Oh, yeah. I definitely remember this. This, okay. I said this sounds like a this sounds like a mixture of ADA and Blackpink, but it felt like the more they could have went into like the K-pop style with it, they didn't, and I wish they did. And it, it feels reminiscent of her uh, of her first song too, from Street Fighter Four. And the weird thing is like it plays more into her little spider motif because it gives you like vibes of like Black Widow from like uh, of the Avengers. But then you you realize it's like she's got cat ears now and her phone's got cat ears. So it's a little off-putting, a little confusing. Unless those are supposed to still be spider fangs, because they used to be this way, and now they're up here. So
this feels like a K-pop breakdown section right here. And this part, this part feels like like a KDA type of song at this part. Alright, so I wonder how they're gonna mix it up for her. Cause this is the most replayed section right here, so I wanna see if they can really catch my attention. Okay. Hey. Oh. Uh. I do not like this section because the beat is not what I expected it to be. I like that build though. This is very K-pop-esque, especially if it goes back to the main chorus after this. Oh no, I think it's gonna end with this. Okay, never mind. Was that a kiss? Oh, snap. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, at first I was gonna give it an 8, but the kiss at the end was kind of like, that's kind of fire. So we're gonna give it an 8.5. 8.5. Definitely, definitely caught me off guard. Really, really caught me off guard. All right. Let's listen to because because I, 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 me personally, I, if it came on, I would not click off of it, but it definitely is not a song I'm gonna be like, hey, we should listen to this. No, no, no. So definitely 8.5 uh, for, for uh, uh, jury. We're going to Ken's. I do not remember what Ken sounds like at all. Spirit of the Flame. This is giving me. A, I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm really indifferent because this is sounding like. Now, now, get me. Don't get me wrong. Don't take this as an insult, but this is dead ass sounding like High School Musical vibes, like, uh, like, like if Troy was like, like singing to himself. This is what it's giving me. This is what it sounds like. Like this part. Bet on it, bet on it, bet on it. That's what it sounds like a little bit. Now this, like the melody, is giving me. It, it, it's really sounding like an 80s type of uh, like motivational like boxing song. I like this. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. This. This seems like something that would be more like similar to Young Ken, not not an older version of him, because it really it is it really feels like Rocky esque, like it's like motivational type of like uh, Spirit of the Flame, like it feels motivational. So it doesn't, I guess the whole situation with his with his family. I mean, I guess. Definitely feels like a, a Rocky style inspired song. Except the first half, that was like straight up high school musical. Alright. Alright, how are we gonna, we gonna break it down? It depends on what they do with the melody from here on out. It really influenced my opinion.
go. Oh, it's not bad. It's not bad. I like it. I can see myself playing this by like, uh, this could be my first or second choice, but I can't rate it that high because I feel like it's, it could have, it, hold on. I don't like this part at all. I like this. Oh, oh, I did. Okay. Oh, all right. So I'm gonna have to give that an eight because I, I think it's it could have been better. It's not bad, but like. It's it it's almost like if Ken was in a uh, what do you call those things a uh, if if Ken was in like a training montage and I feel like there were certain things that they could have made him more climatic about it but it feels anticlimactic in certain ways that I don't like so uh, I'll have to I have to end it with an eight and remember we're not comparing it to their old themes so. All right, here's Blanca's theme uh, called Zora Zora. I typically don't like Blanca or play Blanca, so I don't know what to expect from this theme. If this, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I even play this, if this theme is goofy, I'm cutting it off. Like, I'm just saying. Off of the bat, I, I can hear like, will I am on this. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Depending on where they go with the beat from this depends on what like influence my decision. Cause I like the melody. It's fine. Excellent choice of drums. Okay. Okay. I wish they would have did more with that drop. This almost, I ain't gonna lie, this sounds like a Laura Mata the type of song, not Blanca. Uh. I ain't gonna lie, I think you could play this at any like kickback. You know what I'm saying, I ain't even gonna say, I ain't even gonna finish. I'm just saying, you can slide with this song. Too saucy for Blanca. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's dope. Oh. All right. So we're reaching the breakdown points. All right. Well, what are you gonna do here? though what else you still got a lot more song to go what else you got okay 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 what else hmm 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 
Oh, oh, oh. Still not even there yet. Uh, what? 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 Hey, I ain't gonna lie. This, this shit fire. Alright, a key change. Not a key change. Change of the melody. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, 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 I'm not gonna lie, easy nine out of nine. E nine out of nine. Easy nine out of ten. That 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 was actually fire, especially this part right here. This part right here. Oh no, no. So this before. This part right here. Easy, easy nine out of ten. Dude, this you can literally play this song in in a club and nobody would care. The this uh what did that person say? A certified rainforest classic. Oh my god. That was six months ago? Dang, that's crazy. Bro, not gonna lie, this song slaps like crazy. All right, wow. I wasn't expecting his his uh his song to actually be good. Okay, all right, Dawson, what you got for me? The Great Sunlight. Uh, Sonic Riders Desert Temple looking at. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I do have a thing for uh Steven. I do have a thing for Indian music. So this song, this 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 vote might be a little biased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are at the halfway point too. Yeah, okay. I like it. I can see Kashabi dancing to this. I don't like where this melody is going. Now this is bringing... It's a little too happy for me, I don't like it. It's too bright, that little, that little melodic part right there was too bright, I didn't like it. I heard that little mix they just did. I thought they were gonna break it down, you know? Wow, we're almost done? Wow. It's super constant with no actual breakdown. I wish they would have broke it down and give it like a more a little more hip hop. If they if they would have did broke it down and give it like a little hip hop Bollywood type of thing going on, instantly nine if not ten out of ten. I gotta give it an eight point five though, because I think like it, it 
it stays constant and it really feels like it's actually one of those traditional like uh it feels like a traditional fighting game song where it just keeps going like so there's no real indicator after like the breaking after the first two uh like melodies play over and over again uh when it comes to the third part it doesn't really feel like there's anything you know different enough to notice what part of the song you're in because i didn't realize we were at the end so i'll definitely say um definitely an eight definitely an eight give it like give give it a hip-hop breakdown like a like that there's something like that i don't know i would i mean i would have definitely liked it a lot more easy all right e honda so that one's an eight out of ten dawson's eight out of ten e honda kumadori They could have did something with that. I don't. I don't think this song actually fits E Honda at all. At all, to be honest. So far, I don't think Blanca's fits his, him, and and E Honda's doesn't really fit him either. I think the ladder of if Kimberly's doesn't fit her. But so far, everybody else is fine. I wonder what the E in his name stands for. Let me look that up. I don't think I've ever looked looked that up before. Edmund? Name is Edmund? I didn't like it. I'm not gonna lie. I did not like it. Uh, I would actually give it about a 4.5 out of 10. Four, I, or maybe a five out of 10. I don't. I actually don't like that song at all. I would not want to listen to it. I wouldn't even want it in the in my playlist, even if it was for Street Fighter music. I, I don't like it. I, there's nothing else I can really say. So I don't know. It just didn't fit, sit right. Uh, Marisa's next. I think her is. I think that's the name of the fighting style. I've seen that word before with Pank Pankatrian, Pankration. Yeah, that's the name of a fighting style. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think they uh, slip.
She's from Spain, but this is like a Greek martial art, I believe. It's a combination of wrestling and boxing. The only rules were that an athlete could not bite his opponent or gouge at his eyes or nose. So you can pick your opponent's butt if you want to. You know, slap him on the ass a little bit. This feels too American for me. I don't like it. Um, I don't know. It feel it, that song to me felt too American. Fuck yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't know what to expect, but I wasn't expecting that. Um, I didn't. I didn't like it. I'd give that one equally. Matter of fact, for the character herself, I think she deserves something better. Um, I'm gonna give that a three out of ten. I'm gonna get that a three out of ten. Eha. I, don't, I think e Honda could have got better too. So I, that's not what I was expecting. Definitely wouldn't even put that song in my playlist. I probably would. I'm surprised I didn't cut it off. I gave her a chance. I didn't like it. I like Marisa, but I don't like that theme. Walk with Grace.
This almost, this is giving me like Rocky vibes. I like it. But it's like celebratory. I forgot she's a model, so I can see her walking down the runway with this. I like it. Hey, you know, I'm not gonna lie. They did a good job with this. Okay. This is a bop. If Manon was a boxer, I think this would instantly be a 10 out of 10. But I'm thinking I'm gonna give it like... I need the sparkles. I'm giving this a 9.5. I like this. This is this is better than Jamie and Chun Li's, I'm not gonna lie. Because they had nines. We had two tens, this is the first nine and a half, and we had two nines. And then we had like three, three eights. Or two eights and one seven, I think. That feels like a little retro moment right there at the end. This part right here. I ain't gonna lie, it's a bop. It's a whole bop. I love it. I love it. This is amazing. This, this, it, it seems, it feels more like her day job rather than her fighting. And you can still feel the flair of it. I like it. That Euro pop, it goes hard. I'm not gonna lie. Easy, 9.5. She did a good job. All right, here's DJs. It's DJs. They did a good job with hers. All right. The Jamaican bad boy. Okay. This seems like DJ all the way so far. Okay. Chop that to this. Not bad. But I don't think it's like it's 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 got that same issue with Dawson. It's like it's not changing. Cause I think Dawson's was an eight. I might just leave this at an eight. And I'm not feeling it's just something you just cruise to. It's constant. 
still constant. Definitely an eight, solid eight. Ooh, okay. Do they do something more with this part? Hopefully. I like that part. I like this. Okay, I'll give it an 8.5. I'm gonna move Kimberly's down to an 8, and I'm gonna move DJ up to an 8.5. So DJ and uh, Jury are both 8.5. The ending saved it. Same thing with Jury's. Okay. That's good. Solid 8.5. Alright. JP's theme, The Plunderer. I don't know what to expect. Fits JP for the way he looks. This is giving like winter, this is like definitely some winter soldier type stuff. But not for this game and not for him. I'm gonna have to give this. This is this is worse than Marissa's. I'm gonna have to give it a one. Tell you what, I'll give it a four. Of the song, I thought they were going to. I don't know yet. Hold on. Oh, they didn't do it. Okay. That that dun dun dun. I thought they were gonna do something like dun 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 uh, mm, 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 and speed it up, but they didn't. I was I was really hoping for like a break beat type of uh, transition. That would have actually saved the song and instantly put it at a seven because the best part of it would have been the last part. Now it even sounds more like a Marvel song. Oh my God. It started to sound like a Spider-Man, like, almost like a Venom type of song right there. Like listen to that. I 
That's not, yeah. This, this someone does not belong here. That small section right there sounded like some Devil May Cry type shit. This song is having an identity crisis and does not belong in Street Fighter 6. So I will be giving this a solid. If I gave Marissa a 3 just because it didn't sound like her and it didn't fit the character, I'm giving this a 1 because this song does not even belong in Street Fighter 6. And not to mention, it went from it went from Winter Soldier to Venom or, or Spider-Man, depending on which one you felt more like, and then into like Devil May Cry for a brief second. Definitely not does not belong in this song. Oh, prop might be the I only got three themes left. This might be the worst theme I have heard. And I'm not saying like the song isn't bad. It just does not belong in this game. So let's go to Zangief Red. Yeah. Okay, oh, oh, it was it was delayed. I'm not gonna lie. I this should this should have been Marissa's theme. I'm th this should have been Marissa's theme. I'm not killing Marissa, Marissa, either way. This sounds like it should have been her theme. Can, can Zangief, can Zangief and, and Marissa just share the same thing, please? This is good. Like that first half really felt like Marissa. Marissa's theme felt like a Paul, like from Tekken. This is actually dope. I like this. Okay, okay, I like it. Okay! Yeah! Yeah! I like, I like this. I like this theme. Oh! Ooh! That was fire! That oh, is it gonna do it again? Hey! Oh, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta give this a I gotta give this a 9.5. This is as good just just as good as Manon's. Ooh! Ooh! Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay, okay. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. I really think this should have been Marissa's theme. It sounds like something she would she would like fight to.
That was dope. Easy 9.5. Easy. It's literally tied with Manon's for being like second best. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. Who was number who was 10? I think the only 10s were uh were cause Chun Li had a nine, Jamie had a nine. I think Ryu had a no Guile, Guile and Blanca had tens. And Ryu had a eight point five. Ryu, Jury, and DJ have 8.5s. And then Luke, Kimberly, and Dawson have 8. Ken is a 7. Ihonda is a 5. Marisa is a 4. No, Marisa is a 3. 5, a 3. And then JP is a 1. So we're going to go to Lily and then we got Cammy left. We'll be almost done. Diosa del Sol. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is from a thing video. Yeah. Ooh, that Spanish guitar, okay. I like it, so far. Okay. They gotta do like a like a beat transition. Gotta. Don't let it stay the same. This is way too good. Come on. Come on. Give me some. That's not what I was expecting. Different. It's mad different. Oh, oh, it, I ain't gonna lie, it lost me for a bit, but it's bringing me back. The crazy part is the most replayed verse and part of the song is at the end. That's a nine. Easy. Easy nine. They did that girl right. Her theme is amazing. Her theme is amazing. I love it. I love it. 
nine. I'm gonna drop a tier list with this video when I do it, so you can so you can see the the music, uh, so I can finalize my thoughts on the music. Easy nine. All right, Cammy, you're the last one. Let's see what they let's see, let's see how they treated you for this for this game. Overture. This is giving me right now. It's really, it really feels like a, like a Tekken song. I like it though. It almost feels like one of those, it really feels like a Tekken song, I'm not gonna lie. Like if Tekken went hip hop, this is definitely something they would do. This is like a different version of Kami too. Like this feels like a different Kami. But she's supposed to be freed like from the whole like bison thing. So I think it's like a lot more dark and grittier than what I was expecting. I like this part a lot. No, I think Ken's was an 8.3. I'm gonna bump it down to a seven though. This feels like it should have been more in like This feels like it should have been more like this it feels Street Fighter 4-esque in terms of the seriousness, but like the vibe for Cami now it's more like Tekken Tekken-esque. So it's not bad. It's not bad. This one might be the hardest one to gauge, and I probably so let's see. I'd put this in the 8.5 category where it feels like it feels like her but it also feels like something else while the styles do mix so i definitely give it an 8.5 uh not bad definitely not my first choice but if it comes on i'm not gonna turn it off so all right well um now that we finally got all of that covered and taken care of i really appreciate you guys appreciate you guys if you watch to the end of this video um there were a lot of unexpected uh, things and I'll, I'll like I when I say like some of these songs are bomb some of these songs are bomb and some of these songs are ass so with that being with that being said uh, I will continue to do the rest of the characters uh, as they come out um, I, I didn't plan on that originally but like seeing as how like Capcom has uh, a general idea of like how some characters really benefit from good themes uh, definitely gonna listen to the rest of them when they come out so this is just for the first, I believe, 18 characters. And with that being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and check out. I'll catch you guys later. And I hope you enjoy. And make sure you like pre-order uh, Street Fighter 6. And I'll catch you in the next video. Because trust me, 
we have some things to talk about for the demo. So with that being said, you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>